Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Level Wolf, and today I'm going to be starting up a brand new franchise mode zoo. I had a great suggestion in the comments on the last video to do a franchise mode zoo. It's not a mode that I play very often. I much prefer sandbox, just as my preferred style of building. But tackling franchise build will be a great task, and it's something I've been thinking about doing a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with that today. This is going to be a themed zoo. It's going to be separated into different biomes. It is going to be called Wildlife Trek. It is actually based on a section of the Tulsa Zoo. They have a life in the section, uh, section of their zoo, so life in the cold, life in the water, forest... I'm going to take that and turn it into a full zoo. Starting off here at the front is going to be the entrance area, moving into a children's zoo, which is going to have the flamingos, lemurs, koalas, um, at least one of the tortoises. And then it is going to move out from that into the rest of the map. This is a temperate North America map. So I am going to get started here building up the entrance plaza. Unfortunately, with Franchise, we can't get rid of this entrance, but we can make it, we can work with it. I always like to start with the paths here to uh, delete those paths. I'm going to go align to grid, get a grid from that, and just start bringing this out in an 8 meter path using 4 meter sections. I'm just going to go out a little ways here. I do have my zoo mapped out on a piece of paper in front of me, so I know kind of what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a info booth and also um, an implied rental shop here. And then going over to this side is actually going to be the gift shop. I'm not going to build all of this in today. I'm just going to get the basic shops in, and I'm going to get started on the peafowl habitat, which is actually going to be the very first habitat of the zoo. It's going to be right about here. What I'm doing right now is I'm using a line to grid to get the path nice and straight and even. I'm going to go in and smooth this out eventually, but for f just for now I want square paths, um, a line to grid. Everything's going to be at least in the main plaza going to be built on the grid. I have the game in pause right now. I don't want any kind of um, alerts or anything popping up until I get the first habitat in. I'll eventually do a nice um, administration building, but for right now I'm going to just pop in the uh, staff facilities over here out of the way. This is a brand new franchise, not just a new zoo, but an actual new franchise, so I have absolutely nothing unlocked. So this is going to get interesting and probably pretty annoying, <laughs> but that's alright. I'm going to get the basic facilities in here, and then we'll start doing some research to unlock everything. And let's see, workshop. And need a trade center. Make sure that everything has connected with the paths. Ah, it's always fun when it does this. Ah, I'll just do it like this. Oh, this is always fun. Yeah. I love the paths of Planet Zoo. Love the path system. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Do that and then just move the keeper's hut so that it connects properly. There. 
that that's just that's just so annoying. And uh, that's gonna do that too. Of course it is. Put that over there. There we go. Okay. Better. Everything's everything's better. Oh, all we have unlocked is the balloons. Oh, I hate balloons. Um, <laughs> there are no balloons in my zoo, so I'm just going to ignore that. So we have the information. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and um, put in some food stalls over here then. Put in our soda and hamburgers. Most zoos, um, if you go to them, at least uh, in the U.S., balloons are actually banned because they... Uh, they drift away, not only are they kind of ecologically bad, but the animals can eat them. And we don't ever want that to happen. Alright, if we have food and drink in the zoo, then we have to have trash facilities, otherwise people are just going to litter everywhere. I don't want that to happen. Pop in a couple of pinches. Doing all right on money for now. Do you want to go ahead and get the peafowl habitat in? The peat fell are going to go right in this area here. I'm just going to outline it with the paths really quick. See what sort of bears we have. We just have the hedge, um, just the basic ones. So I'm going to go ahead and use the hedge. Because that's a good suitable one for the peacocks, or the peafowl. I'm going to cut it in a little bit right there to leave room for the habitat gate. This might not actually be big enough. If it's not, um, I might just make this a walkthrough habitat. Oh, 432 square meters. What do PFAL require? Indian PFAL. There we are. They have a minimum requirement of 312 square meters. Ooh. Hmm. Alright. Interesting. I'll go ahead and make this a little bit bigger then. I'm trying to get away from making absolutely gigantic habitats, like I tend to do, but it still needs to be a bit bigger than it is because I want a decent sized flock of these things, plus these, uh, Putting peafowl in, they breed like, uh, well, they breed like, ra like rabbits, so uh, we're going to need room.
Alright, there we go. That's decently large. Don't need two meter barriers here. I'm just going to pull it down to one, uh, one meter. That way, guests can get a good look over it and be able to walk around and look at the peafowl. The higher in the staff that we're going to need, I need at least one. Oh, two caretakers, uh, one keeper, mechanic, that way we get some research going. One security, and then our veterinarian. Not going to bother with educators or anything like that until we get a little bit further into it. And go ahead and get our peafowl. Hopefully there's some decent ones. There we go. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab... Uh, it's only 30 conservation credits. We'll go ahead and grab the gold-rated male there. And we'll just get a couple random females. I think that's probably enough because they four yeah, four will be fine. Oh that's right. Yeah, this is franchise. We don't have the uh being able to select multiple and uh you know, select multiple and drop them in all at once. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Yeah, I have to do this one at a time. Awesome. This is one of the reasons I don't play franchise. Alright, there we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and unpause the game. And... Get the peafowl in. And now the guests will start rolling in. Just as soon as the peafowl are in. So connect it up. Go ahead and put in some food and water. And we'll see what kind of... if we have anything really unlocked for them yet. We'll go for the, uh, we only have four of them in here, we'll just go with the small food bowl. It's a bit cheaper. Alright. Let's see, our peafowl. Alright, so they have adequate space. We don't have any hard shelter at the moment. I'm gonna fix up the terrain really quick. And get it to their liking. Um, just looks like we just have a little bit too much long grass and that's about it so just drag a little soil through here kind of make it look like the birds walk around I like to put soil right around the feeder and the enrichment items just kind of mimic how animals would behave in a real enclosure they'll follow certain paths that they like and areas that they use quite a bit around their food and their water is going to be more worn down all right and the people are already rolling in Awesome. All right, we're going to start our vet research and our mechanic research. Let's see. I think the first thing we're going to research uh, for the mechanic research is barriers. Get everything unlocked. Alright, so at this point I just need to let the game run until I get enough uh, money and conservation credits to start building out the next habitat.
did I pick peafowl? They never work out in any zoo I've ever tried to put them in. It's just messy, noisy, disease-ridden birds that, ugh. Camphylobacter, Listeriosis, Fortidellosis, they, they've had it all. They, they just, they, they, they just, they just poop continuously. We cannot keep this clean. and They're not overcrowded. I may rip this habitat out and put in a food court here. Like, I, I'm kind of done with these birds at this point. All right, but that is the entrance plaza for Wildlife Trek. It's built out. We have the rental services in. This is obviously an implied building. I just have an information shop in here. Oh, I need to finish that little top part right there. Go ahead and do that really quick. Just need to duplicate these pieces. Flip them around. And place them in. There we are. Obviously, it might need a little bit more decoration inside. Um, once I have more themes unlocked, there uh, are a couple of workshop items that I'm going to place in here. Um, someone has gone and made some um, strollers and some wheelchairs. Place those in. Those are typical things you'd rent at a zoo if you need them. I believe they're Palsley uh, is the one who made those. And then we have our wild side gifts in. We have uh, both the gift shops, the hats, fantastic, and the just memento. Have those backwards. Uh, but those are in, ready to go. Little restroom. Have uh, the path that goes all the way through because, you know, exit through the gift shop, buy something. Both those are in. The flamingo habitat is fully detailed out. I'm quite, quite pleased with how this came out. I'm probably going to replace this building at some point because it's kind of ugly. But that is where we are at. This is a really good example of if you have empty space in your zoo, if you feel like for some reason you need your zoo just isn't coming together quite right, shove some plants in there. Just fill empty spaces in your paths. If you have weird paths are doing weird gaps or something, fill it with plants. Fill it with plants, put some rocks in there, put some trees in there. It takes your zoo from being good to being really good. So I'm quite happy with this. The whole entrance walk has been built out. We put in a little lily pond. Got the staff area, the staff gate going back here. Eventually, uh, this will get turned into a proper administration building, and then I may put in a separate animal hospital building as well. That's going to come future down the road. For the next episode, I'm going to be expanding out this way into the children's zoo. So that's going to be really fun. I've got some great references to work from for that. So if you enjoyed this, please feel free to... Uh, to give it a like. Uh, drop a comment below if you have any questions, you want to see anything uh, done differently. If you have any suggestions, that would be great. Also, if you would like to see more, please feel free to subscribe for more content and more annoying PayPal. And I will see you in the next episode. Thank you so much. Bye.